Hey guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys four of my favorite launchers to completely give your Android device a total overhaul. Uh, one of my favorite features of Android is the ability to customize your phone without having to root or jailbreak your phone. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys my top four launchers that I love for that purpose. Let's go ahead and get started. The first launcher that I want to talk about is Smart Launcher Pro. Uh, Smart Launcher Pro, I was using this launcher for a while and recently I, I started using it again um, just because there's been a couple great updates here and there. And one of the great things about this launcher is that you can set up your favorite launch apps right here, just like it will. Uh, it looks like a dialer, like you see right there. It looks like a dialer. Um, by default, the the dialer, this dialer right here is gonna be a lot smaller because there's only like I think like six apps right there. But if you press and hold here, you could go ahead and keep adding more apps as you want. You can even add a folder as well, and it will be laid out here like a like a like a like a dialer. Uh, you can also move your apps around like you see right here if you want this over here more closer to your thumb you could do that. Um, over here the pro version gives you the ability to add widgets like you see right here. You can add as much widgets as you want If I'm, and even if I'm not mistaken you can also add more pages. Right now I only have three but I only put um, use one page only but you can still customize it as much as you want. Over here in the draw I love that you have once you every time you download apps you automatically get all your apps organized here and it, it is very very convenient very easy to find your apps like you see right there very cool. Uh, of course you can always customize if you press preference here you press theme you can always go to the market and download more themes if you want uh, which is very very cool I've been I was being addicted to this uh, theming here customizing here which is very very cool you can also change the wallpaper as well of any theme and it's very very cool like see right there very easy you can also the great thing about this um, launcher is yet yeah, you can also use icon packs as well the launcher that I want to talk about is everything me launcher like you see right there when I woke up the phone it automatically t greets you like good afternoon good evening good morning whatever the day is um, this launcher what I love about this launcher even though it basically looks like uh, almost Android like looking there well, you see you got the icons over here in the dog you got folders apps and folders but what I love about this launcher is the fact that it has smart folders um, these smart folders automatically take all the apps that you have related to shopping to media to social to games and it will automatically place the apps in the folders that they need to belong to um, also what I like about it of course you can add any wallpaper that you want this is of course the, my favorite wallpaper muse wallpaper which the background changes every couple hours but this launcher is uh, what I like also about this launcher is that it also has the prediction bar right here when you launch the phone for the first time or you press on um, the home button or whenever you touch the phone to start um, doing work on your phone this automatically um, pops out like you see right here you automatically gonna see apps here and what it is, is that these are predicting like the apps that you normally use at certain time. For example, like if at 3 o'clock I always tend to use um, Dog Catcher with the, and the browser and YouTube, most of the times at that same hour every single day, you're going to see those apps pop out right here. Then it switches back to the time right there. Um, this launcher is also free. And that's no price to pay to try it. Um, of course, over here you have a simple way to search for your apps. When you go right there, it's like a universal search. will automatically search for things in the internet based on what you type in. And it will also um, search for the apps as well. Over here has a um, voice um, voice search as well. And everything else is just basically the same as... Uh, a normal Android UI but with a couple great features like the smart launcher smart folders and of course the prediction bar right here which is very very cool the next launcher that I want to talk about is Themer. Themer is a very very awesome launcher that lets you completely 
overhaul your phone. It makes your phone not look like an Android phone at all or any other phone you can think of. Like you see right here, it has a very nice cool effect. Uh, the way that you change pages, um, you can go like this if you want, right? You can also press um, here and you can go ahead and tap right there. Like you see right there, it has like a dialer. And over here, you could go ahead and go to your dialer right there. Over here, you could go ahead and search for your apps. Over here, you got the browser. Over here, the great thing about this launcher as well is the browser theme section. Uh, from here, there's lots and lots of great categories like newest, trending, what's hot, what's not. And like you see right here, it's very, very simple and easy to make your phone look completely unrecognizable by anybody. If I want to add, for example, this one right here looks very, very cute. Oh, uh, here, apply. Very easy. Look at the, how easy it applies it. Boom, go ahead. And like I said, this launcher is completely free right now. Um, and it's been like that for a while already in beta, of course. Anything can happen, so you might get some bugs here and there. But if you love customizing, this is can't get any better than this. Look at this. Look how cool that looks. Like you see right here, it only has, I never used this theme before, so I'm new to this theme right here in this video. But look at this, look how cool that looks. I have a tap right here, it should show you all the music. Like you see right here, these, I guess these are like folders. Look at that, I launched the Yahoo app, because that is the weather. If I tap right there, it'll launch the app, the watch, notes, right here. You'll see productivity. Uh, games, you see the games, uh, camera, let's see, you got the camera. Like you see right here, very, very awesome looking launcher that completely changes the way your phone looks. And this is what I like about this um, launcher, very, very beautiful launcher. Look at that. That looks very nice. And the great thing about it is that there's tons and tons and tons of launchers to choose from which is very, very beautiful. And like I said, this is by far one of my favorite launchers as well. But yeah, it's hard to choose which one is your favorite when you have so many awesome themes right here. This is very, very cool. So guys, um, if you wanna see more into this video, into this launcher, I also have a video where I explain everything about this launcher and how this launcher works. And maybe you could go ahead and clear any questions there. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. But I got to say, this is by far one of my favorite launchers in the market as well. Now, one of my favorite launchers that I just keep going back to, no matter what phone I have and no matter what user interface that phone has, is Aviate Launcher. Um, Aviate Launcher is a very, very cool app that lets you be very, very organized. And it makes your phone look completely completely different i also it, it's also one of those smart launchers that depending on the location where you're at for example right now i'm at home and like you can see right here you see the tab yellow right if i swipe down i can see apps that are related to my home these apps i could just put it there if i want these app i want it to be there if i'm at home i can see the weather i can see over here if i have want to have access to my flashlight i can have it right there i could have do not disturb and all that right but if i for example if i go to work this completely changes as well like this right here it changes to blue if i swipe down now you have send email new events now you have apps that are work related that i use at work you have my calendar and of course i always tend to put my flashlight there that way i can also have access to the flashlight no matter where i'm at um, of course if you press and hold here you can have all this as your photo or you can have it split it in two like for example add a widget like i did here and add a picture like i did there you can add any picture from your gallery right now i, I have that one uh, another feature here if you're driving this feature i love very very good if you're driving this automatically changes to green and when you swipe down like you see right here you got traffic home office and apps that are related to your work also this section right here which is called the collection section you can have your apps organized by category like you see right here i got my social apps i got my entertainment apps 
I got my shopping apps. And over here, if I tap right here, I can go ahead and add other categories if I want. Or if I want to take a category out, I could just go ahead and tap right there, click OK, and there you go. So now I have less categories. Now that's very cool. Over here, you have all your apps. Like you see right here, all your apps are in alphabetically order. Um, I've tapped right there, it goes back to the home screen. One thing, one of the new latest update that I love that they did to this launcher is that, for example, if I'm listening to music or listening to podcasts, tap right there, like you see right here, it automatically changes to listening to music. And right now, I have the volume down, and right now I could go ahead and pause it right here if I want. I could play it right there. You have the title of what you're playing right here. If I tap right here, it'll take me to the app itself. Um, and you see right over here, you also have some apps that are related to music. These apps I want to be available when when I listen to music, like for example, Run Keeper and the weather. I keep it there because when I run, I listen to music and I also want to turn on App, a run keeper and I also want to know what's the weather so I keep those apps right there and I tap right there it turns off another thing that you can actually do here is go to settings uh, let's go here to settings I'm gonna cover my address right there uh, here you could go ahead and switch to a light theme the by default this is the way that this uh, launcher looks let, let's let it change this is the way it will look by default this is the way it will look by default. But like you see, I don't like it because it's like too, too white, too much for me. And it will burn more battery as well. So for me, the dark theme is the way to go. Let's go here, dark theme again. Uh, the other great feature that I like that they added to this launcher since um, Yahoo purchased it is that now you can also right here set icon packs as well. So if you can, you have any kind of icon pack uh, you can go ahead right there like you see right there you can customize your icons and like you see right there completely changes the way every single app looks very very cool depending on the icon pack that you select of course if you tap right here you can also see uh, if I'm not mistaken you can also see um, businesses or anything that's available nearby like you see right there very cool in my opinion this is one of my favorite or one of the best uh, launchers it is a very very smart launcher it's very easy for me to keep organized so like you can see there guys there's a lot of great launchers on Android and like I said before one of the best features of Android is that you can make your phone look however you want the phone to look you don't have to stick to the same old design for years and years you can make it look however you want and without even ever having to root or jailbreak your phone of course these are not the only launchers available in the market there's a lot more launchers like action launcher apex launcher gold launcher there's tons of launcher but these are the launchers that i like the most and i'm gonna leave it in the description i'm gonna leave a playlist of uh, my playlist of the launchers that i've reviewed in the past that way you guys can have an idea of all the other launchers that i've used and that i reviewed before so guys thanks for watching my video i hope you guys like uh these launchers let me know which one you like the best and let me know if so if these are not one of them let me know which one you like the best okay guys so thanks for watching guys till next time